Hi, this is Laura Chapel, and this is Wireshark Tip 12. If you want to keep up on these Wireshark tips, you can follow me on Twitter at Laura Chapel. In this tip, I'm going to show you how we can add an HTTP.host column when you're analyzing web browsing sessions and what you can do once you add that column. It's one of the columns that I always add whenever I'm analyzing web browsing sessions. I've opened up the trace file called http-wireshark-download.pcapng, and this is one of the trace files you can go get from the wiresharkbook.com website. And when we look at this trace file, we can see that somebody is going out, and it appears they're making a. Uh, I'm going to go. Let me go up to the top of this trace file. Uh, we can see that they're they want to download a page called download.html. And in order for us to know what host they're making that request of, we would have had to see the DNS queries leading into this, or we could go into the detail window and look for the host line in the HTTP section. Now, as people browse websites, a lot of times they'll connect to more than one target host, and that allows them to get the advertisement information on the page or any supplemental information on the page downloaded they may not all get everything from a single site. So to see all the different hosts that are browsed during a web, you know, a download session such as this, we can simply expand the HTTP section and look for the host line. Down below we can see that Wireshark calls this the HTTP.host field. I'm going to right mouse click on that line in the detail window and apply this as a column. Once this is applied as a column, it's really easy to see who you're communicating with or who the, the client is communicating with during a web browsing session. So in this example, we're going to get the download.html page from www.wireshark.org. And then we can see that our browser uh, makes a connection to Google Analytics. And then we go to ipv4.wireshark.org to get a GIF file, and then we go to ipv6.wireshark.org. Because we've added this as a column, now we can sort that column and very quickly see all the different target hosts that we went to when we were simply browsing that download.html page. Sometimes it may surprise you to see how many hosts you connect to when you just want to download a single website. To stay up to date on all of these Wireshark tips, you can follow me on Twitter at Laura Chapel. And for more Wireshark training and tips, visit chapelu.com.